All right, folks, we back. Y'all already know what time it is. It's rape debate, but we just switched it up on y'all just a little bit because there's so many different things that we can rape that we can go in depth on, get comments from the homies. And uh, man, I, I decided to throw y'all a little bit of a curveball, but it's something that we all use as fishermen. You gotta have it. There is no fishing without it. And at this day and age, I'd say pretty much 99% of the time, we are using fluorocarbon fishing line. Would you agree? Yeah, with uh, maybe well, maybe eighty percent. I would say eighty percent. You know, yeah, eighty percent. We just want to bring. I don't even have a any more mono. Don't top water at all. I I got like, I got. Mono? I don't even have a spool. Of I got mono. one spool of mono. Really? I do. Oh, I got a couple. Twenty five. I like to throw mono. I have zero mono. Twenty five. But y'all throw that on certain days. Twenty. Berkeley, big game. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. mono, but mono is actually a really. Uh, I mean, it's, it's he's it's, almost he's, obsolete, bro. No, almost. I said almost. Oh, man. He's okay. also more abrasion resistant than than, than fluorocarbon, so he's actually a better cranking line. So, like, if you're cranking really like nasty stuff, mono can actually be better, but you're not making as much depth. About a half a foot, depending on like your diameter. But yeah, wow, it do got some little minor advantages. It does have some. Minor it advantages. does. It does. And like, if it's really chewed up. It's not going to break off nearly as fast. No, it's not in close. Because that's because of all the stretch. I, so he, he do got his little bit Since of Since we're on the mono kick, we ain't even kicked the video off. We ain't yet. even talking about mono on the video. We're talking about mono. We're going to start it off. We're going to start off with mono. Look, right, go ahead. All right, let, let's get the video rolling. Let's we, get it going. We're going to get off on tangents irregardless. Oh, yeah. So I hope y'all enjoy them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, so look. We do a fluorocarbon fishing line. Y'all know how rape debate goes. There's 50 fluorocarbon producers out there we can't talk about them all so what we did was we picked four of what i think are the top leading fluorocarbons there's some honorable mentions that we did not put in here that were really close Dang. but we're gonna rock with these four you good so what the four we got for this video we got seaguar as y'all can see i got the the tub of life i call it this is where i keep all my fishing line right here we got the tub of life Unbelievable, bro. <laughs> we got the tub of life with the fluorocarbon. This is something big, dog. We got P lines, 100% fluorocarbon. We got suffix advantage, 100% fluorocarbon. And we got Berkeley, 100% fluorocarbon. Mm -hmm. Berkeley Trilene. It's not 80%. It's not 80, it's 100. <laughs> He's 100. So, we're going to go into this. Uh, anybody want to kick it off? Anybody I'll kick it off. You want to kick it off? I'll kick it off. What do you, you want to kick it off with? All right, here we go. I'll, I'll kick their brand off. Ah, well, we both are Seaguar, right, me and Dustin. So you're going to kick it off, then you're going to kick it off with this. Yeah, I got a little prelude, though. With the We're talking about mono real quick. Oh, God. I'm going back to the mono style thing. All right, let's hear I it. I used to throw mono a lot on top water. Yes. And uh, I think everybody did. Well, I had one fish catch that changed my whole idea about <laughs> top water. And mono. And mono. Believe it or not, I was in a BFL tournament. I told y'all this story. He told me this before. I was in a BFL <laughs> tournament. I was on a super spook. And I had one little shoal I knew big ones wrong. I needed one cloud to come over and they were going to come up. I knew one was there. It just it was too sunny. Cloud came over. I was like, dude, we got to go. We got to go. I ran over there. Literally, last like 20 minutes a day. Oosh. Four pounder. Big spots. And she's jumping, and when she jumped, she did like a belly flop. And I've never had this happen before. When she jumped, the line somehow wrapped around her gill plate. And I'm sitting there reeling it in. It's weird. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And she thrashed beside the boat, and it cut my mono like a scissors. Yeah. Cut it. And wow. I went, never again. And it was 20 pound mono. Wow. And I said, no, nah, braid. Straight down. down. Yeah, straight and braid. Them gill plates are serious, man. Braid yeah. forever. That's a freak accident. That is. That, 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 you can never make what? that happen again. That right there cost me 12 grand. Jeez. A lot of, a lot so of you ever since it then? Is. Braid. It's braid. And I have not broke off the top water since. Anyway, let's kick it off. Go <laughs> <laughs> anyway, All right, here we are. 12 pound of Braze X by Seaguar. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be a little bit biased. All right. Just go ahead and throw that out there for all my other guys. I, uh, I've i always used Seaguar. Now, I'm, I'm going to go back old school with you. I used to use Bass Pro Shops fluorocarbon. Which Seaguar makes that? A XPS. Yes, and they had 17-pound XPS fluorocarbon. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used it for the longest. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have a brand up here right now that I, the first 
piece of four carbon I ever used was vicious twenty pound. Bro, why you bro, why you <laughs> why, 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 why you bring that up? The only reason I said that <laughs> the only reason I said that is because that was the first time I ever used four carbon. Oh, okay. So I this is kinda of like a history lesson and then we'll talk about C right. So I used vicious and then I moved to Bass Pro Shops. And, and, and what I didn't know is Seagar yeah. made the Bass Pro Shops. Yeah. And I like the Bass Pro Shops. Line. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, Seagar Brazex. I'll tell you something a little about, about this line. I have used all the Seagar brands. Um, everybody's like, we use the Brazex, we use Invisex. I will say this the Brazex to me, um, it seems like it has. A, a little bit more of a, a thicker diameter or it's a little more a little dense memory a little bit more memory is, yeah you know what I mean yeah and I think they did that because of the name of Braze X um, yeah. they, they you know and they might be flipping around wood and stuff like that there's so many different uh, little bitty intricacies or whatever that word is intricacies yeah yeah I'm with you though about line and the diameters and, and, and the reasons that we use those ones. Yes. So a Brazex for me, 12 pound. Um, I use this line not as much. I, you gotta keep in mind, if I'm using a Brazex, it's 20 pound. Yeah. Not 12. Flipping or something. Flipping. Yeah, yep. I, I throw in Vizex by Seagar, but the Brazex to me is phenomenal. Yeah. Um, I don't know about the diameters though. That's another subject we're gonna go into. Well, these boys know all about the diameters of these lines. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about diameters in a minute, but I gotta rate Seagar or Brazex. I'm gonna rate him a seven out of 10 online, okay? Yeah, yeah. And the only reason I'm going seven out of 10 is because we don't have Invisex up here. Oh, That's, we got him, but we don't have him out. He's in that box in right there. But you're totally different. I am. Everybody, that's, that's what's so beautiful about this. See, this we is are cool. all different. I like this. Yeah. So, 7 out of 10, a Braze X, that's me. All right. So, I'm actually not going to rate it. Seagar has Base X, Raid Level, a Viz X, a Braze X, and then Tatsu. I'm not going to go into all the different brands that Seagar makes. I'm just going to rate Seagar as a fluorocarbon producing company. Oh, oh, can I, can I retract mine? You can't get. Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying. We're talking that, about cigar. I'm just talking about cigar. So blank. No, you got you to rate it. You got to rate the actual line though, because the thing is, is like there's a range. Okay, so like the key is if the price point is similar. That's the only way you can do it. It's like yeah, you could have a Ferrari of lines oh, that's like well, seventy dollar price. Point. Then I need to bring out the Invisex, which is more price. That price yeah, point. Yeah, you want to you want to be closer okay. as far as in quality, so that way you can actually rate okay. it the correct way. Then I need so. to I need to pull out Invisex. Yeah, let me do that. Hey, let me let me dig, let me dig let's into the, 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 the tub of life. Let's do the Invisex. Boom! Here he is, right here. Dang, I see that big game. In there, you got you got any ten? I see you got ten. Yeah, you got ten Invisex. I want to see the not dying. Invisex. Hold on. Hold on, I got, I got, I got, I got for, 10 for or 12, sure. Or 12, or 12? Oh, we got, got gold 12 level too. Let's see. I got all kinds. No, we ain't mentioned gold level. Maybe not. He's just like, nah, it's not a big deal. A six? I'm telling you right now, y'all. This is Viz 12 pound yeah. red label. That's probably closer, isn't it? Red label probably Red label's closer to y'all. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. No, no, we ain't doing it. Viz X is fine too. Okay, what, I just wanted to bring it out. I just wanted to bring it out. A, a much cheaper price point than and that, and that, Invisex. Invisex is more comparable to you guys is to these other floor carbons. Okay, Invisex. price point wise. Invisex. It is. Okay. Yes. All right, here we go. Uh, ready? Yeah. We're <laughs> still <laughs> ready. Still going. We're rolling. Okay. Still uh, rolling. Never, never All right. Cut. Now I have Invisex in my hand. All right. So uh, the Invisex is what I use. I use it. That's your favorite one. You, do you use Invisex? I do. Okay. I use Invisex on every rod that I own, except spinning rods. I use Gold Label. Um, 12 pound Invisex on a jerk bait is unbelievable how strong it is. I used to throw 15, but I found out that I can get my jerk bait deeper. I can cast it a lot further. It's almost like uh, the similarity of throwing a frog on 65 pound braid yeah. versus 50 pound. Yes. You can throw it a lot further. It's just a little bit easier to maneuver. You know what I mean? Yep. So Invisex, um, price point on it, great in my opinion. Yeah. For the value of the line, I use this. We fish for a hundred grand. This is what I personally. I'm gonna be biased. I'm gonna say, man, eight point five out of 
10, 9.5. Hey, I don't know. It's, I, your, it's your rating, baby. That's However, me. Hey, however you I'm feel. I'm going to say 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 9 out Strong. of 10. Yeah. Um, man, in all tests. In all tests. In all tests. In all techniques. Yes. So, you know, I got to come with a little bit of history for y'all. We always got to throw a little history in. Absolutely. When it's time to break the bank. I'm just nah, doing some research. I'm doing some research. research. You swear you got to love J-Dub. He going to figure it out. He going to dig it up. So, history lesson on fluorocarbon fishing line. Did y'all know that Seaguar invented fluorocarbon? Really? They literally invented fluorocarbon. They so were the first it. company to produce fluorocarbon. They invented it. Not only that, Seaguar is the only company that produces their own resin for their fluorocarbon line. Damn. Every other company out there subcontracts out their resins to produce their fluorocarbon. And know. that's why that's, that's really you hear about fluorocarbon shortages, this, that, and the third, because a lot of those resins are used for other things, uh, airplane parts and blah, 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 blah. And then yeah. when it becomes a shortage of that, Scrams there's a shortage reels. of fluorocarbon. But Seagirl will never have that problem because they make their own. That's crazy. So I'm hella biased on this rape right debate. I ain't too bad. So, nah, I ain't, I ain't hella biased. I'm going to keep it real. But Seagirl, in my opinion, this is in Vizx. My favorite is actually a Brazex, and this is where me and DC differ. I don't know. I don't and it's, know. it's crazy, man. Every angler is different, but I prefer a Brazex. Um, believe it or not, it's a, actually a higher tier fluorocarbon than a Vizex. It's one step above in Vizex, mm -hmm. and it's one step below Tatsu. Mm -hmm. So the castability for me is better for me with a Brazex. I can manage it a little bit better, and then it, of course, has that abrasion resistance factor. I, I crank a lot with 12 pound and braze eggs. Huh. This is what I, This uh, that's just me. Um, all the other lines are great too. You know, it's just, you find what you like and you kind of just stick with it, man. It's human human nature. But uh, I'm not gonna go too deep into the diameters. I want my boys to tap in and yeah, give all their experience. In a minute. Um, I'm gonna rate Seaguar with the, with the history that they have when inventing fluorocarbon um, by them producing their own resin and just everything that they have invested into the fluorocarbon market, I'd be remiss to give them anything shy of a 9.5. That's that's facts. That's just me. Mm -hmm. Damn. Or, or, or you can hit them with this. It See, I mean, cigar, you know, that, that was impressive. I mean, Seaguar, for me, like, um, <laughs> it's, it's an OG. It's an OG. Seaguar is well known all over the world for yes. fluorocarbon. They've done a great job, a lot of things. Um, got a lot of respect for this company and what they produce and what they've done in the fishing industry, hands down. I think, uh, I, I personally have not used Seaguar for a lot of years, so I can't really speak on it recently. I, I haven't used some of the newer stuff, but I have used InvisX in the past. It was a really good line. still is a great line. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. I'm going to give them a, overall, um, I'm going to give InvisX I'm gonna give it an 8.5, 8.2, 8.2. Knock him down, boys. Knock it down, go it, 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 Just a little it's bit. It's a really good line. Right. It is a very good line. Right. Now I'm not using it a long time, but it's a very good line. Okay. Yeah. Mm. It's a very. I mean, I've always felt like they. I mean, Vizex is, is a good price point line. I think. I think when you get the problem, Seaguar has so many options. They do. So like for most people out there watching this video, like gold label is not going to be in their price point. I mean, Vizex yeah. is a high. It's four carbon is expensive. Period. Oh, period. Period. The story. Yes. Hey, so spending money on mono now. Twelve nine nine. Well, rather really, that's a be. very good. No, I think it still is. Yeah. No, nah, I don't know. It was fourteen nine nine. I bought eight point two. I said my life. Anyway, go ahead. Eight point two. Let me let me. Eight point two. That's solid. I, it's a really good. That, that, that's good. I mean, I think. I mean, just to piggyback a little bit on Mark. Whenever, whenever a company is the inventor. Of line, like yeah. we just we just got done talking about the last raid debate. If you guys haven't seen it, the one on blade jigs. Yeah, right? exactly. well, uh, people are still hitting me up on that. They well, all everybody wants to know. Well, whoever invents the so like the cinco, dude. We we did the stick baits. Yeah, like whoever the OG, yeah. the real Lewis rattle trap. They whoever the, whoever the starts exactly. Yeah, yeah, and and it always seems like they have a leg up. <clears throat> um, now I I personally. Haven't really used Seaguar a whole lot. Yeah. Now I use it saltwater fishing all the time. I'm always hitting you up. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, there was some tools, right. Yeah, 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 for sure. But um, <clears throat> so I, I gotta, I gotta give it like a nine out of ten. And uh, but let me, let me just tell you something about this right here, dude. This is nifty. What's that? 
Put, like put like the, the cover on there? Yeah. So like, keeps your line together. a lot of times, dude, I mean, well, because I mean, you think about it, right? So like this right here up against this, like I've got a bunch of my spools, my trialing spools, yeah. that rub up against each other in my boxes uh, that actually fray a little bit. Oh, wow. So so that that's actually pretty... Sweet. Yeah, it protects the line. But yeah. um, but no. So th this line, this line overall. I mean, depending on what price point you want, they've got a line for you. Yeah. You really honestly can't go wrong with Seaguar. I mean, I think. I mean, if you're going to buy fluorocarbon, um, I mean, it's definitely one that you got to exploit because it's definitely good. I, I agree. Yeah. What, 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 what you gonna hit him with on that number? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna give him a nine out of ten. Oh, nine. Yeah. Man. So, yeah. That's good. All it, man. That's good. All right. That's Seaguar out the way. Next up, let's talk about this uh, this suffix. Advantage for carbon, and of Advanced. course we're gonna let we're gonna let J Dub kick this off because he has probably the most experience with this line. Yeah. So Suffolk's Advantage. This is uh, ten okay. pound, and it's um, I, I've used this line for the last few years, mm -hmm. and now before that the the the, the Suffolk's the first run on the Suffolk's line, I um, mean the far carbon was it was okay. Mm -hmm. This one's a lot better in line. Really, I mean, I can name on, I can count on one hand over the last three to four years how many bass I've even broken off. And so you that, catch a lot of bass. <laughs> a lot hey, of bass. Hey, hey, he he, he I, gets cold bass. Yeah. You know, and then the, the one thing that, you know, so the first thing you look at when you're picking your, your floor card out is look at price point. Yes. Okay, so, you, so we sort of matched everything up. I sort of did some research. Um, and, and basically all of these are about the same for a 200 yard spool, is about around that. Twenty-five dollar mark yes. for about two hundred yard spool, which is really, you might get two spools out of that if you put backing on that. Yes. Okay, so just a heads up on that. Yep. Um, now, with that being said, on the suffix side of things, I, I mean, this is what I use for smallmouth. I'm, I mean, big. One thing that you will notice between all of them is diameter changes depending on what pound test you have. Yeah. So, <clears throat> ten pound. This is suffix advanced. Is zero point one one diameter. Um, where like a ten pound. Uh, you know, trilings 0.12. Um, this is 12 pound of Razex. It's uh, 0.11. So, so that's really where you're gonna really test what so, you have and what your real pound test is because yes. you're gonna have more more drag on your line the higher mm -hmm. up your pound test goes. And so that's really where I look at that. Like a lot of people argue or think in their mind that they're like a smaller diameter line the fish can. See you know, they don't see it. It's more so the diameter of that line and how it makes the bait act. That being yes. said, suffix, I've had a lot of great, uh, got a lot of great tournaments on, on using suffix lines, the only line I use. Um, but overall, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give them in this line, um, I'm gonna give it an eight. I think that there's <clears throat> an opportunity to have other options mm -hmm. within it, to have a step up, um, but Overall, I've been very impressed with it, Solid. and so that's why I'm going to give. You know, is the, really the main option for our, from Suffix and the brand. It's an eight. It's really just. It's really a line. There we go. All right, Adrian. It's on me, Mr. Bean. We really so, need to do a test. <coughs> yeah. We need to do a test. We can do that. Dude, that could be a so, whole. That could be a whole so, other video. Oh, so, so you remember back in back in the day over, over a bass they had at the bird. You guys yes, probably never I've seen it. You're in the bird. The line and, and, I, and I'm going to talk a little bit, a little bit about when we talk about trialing, but. Yeah, like the, they did not work. I remember that, and uh, and, that, and that is pretty legit. But I that. all right, not to get on tangent. Suffix. Me personally, haven't used it. Uh, maybe once or twice if I had to bump something off Jacob, but um, it didn't break. No. <laughs> it didn't break. Oh, oh, that did break. Don't well, that was just that was, that, was, that was Mark's trick. <laughs> was, hey, my dad told me that when I was a kid. I mean, it feels it feels it feels pretty soft. Like it's, it's, it's soft red. Yeah. I mean, it's, soft, it's a soft floor. Soft floor carbon. Yeah. Um, Another thing is that winding process. What are you doing over there? Oh my there, god! <laughs> this is not good. Hey, why, why are you just why breaking it? Why are you breaking that line, bro? Hey, just breaking it. I'm gonna give give something seven out of ten. I, I don't know much about it. I've only used it a couple times. Um, that that it, line. It, 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 it wouldn't be my first choice just yeah. because I've got other confidence, you know, confidence yeah. in other lines. But. That's a key. I mean, if the number one angler in the world uses it and he hey. rolls them in, it's got to be pretty good, right? It's got to be all right, right? Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. All right, kind of, kind of like Adrian. Uh, I, I've used it a little bit, of course. Being, you know, being homies with with the homies, we get to fish, fish with each other sometimes, and pick up rods. And I will pick up one of them 
them ducats in a heartbeat and I'm out with Jacob. <laughs> you know why he ain't looking trying to steal one real quick. And so I have used this a little bit. Not a lot, but I have caught some bass on it. And I think it's a solid line, man. Um, it's a very soft braid. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you have a softer limp, you hear us use these terms, limp, softer braid, that's where you're, in my opinion, your castability, which is hugely important. Yeah. Especially for you guys getting started with fluorocarbon, with bait casters, you've never really used it. You need a line you can cast well. You get a line that's too thick, or not thick, excuse me, too dense, too much memory, you're gonna struggle casting. So my recommendation was, would, would be to pick a line that's kind of soft and supple, and that's where your castability is gonna come from. But uh, with that being said, I never had any issues when I used the suffix, man. Um, the diameter, I, I will hit them on this, not a, necessarily a negative thing. Like Jacob said, all the different lines have different diameters. Mm -hmm. And so suffix in comparison to cigar, uh, which is what I'm most familiar with, it's a little thicker than it's about what cigar is. About point one. And so, uh, you know, <clears throat> I'll just break Sorry, I'll just check it. I'll just check it. Do it for uh, I'm a, I'm a give. I'm going to give suffix advanced fluorocarbon, 100% fluor. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 as well. And that's just due to lack of experience, really. Mm. I can't really dive too in. I, I can't hate on them, though, because when I did use it, I didn't have no problems. So, 100%. Yeah. I will second Mark about the diameter. So I've always been a big guy on the diameter of these lines. I ain't saying some companies lie on diameter. <laughs> <laughs> Embellish. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Well, you got the diameter is a .15, and you got 12-pound line. Yeah. That's honestly like a 14 or 15-pound right. line. The strongest 12-pound in the world. No, it's actually 15. It's, he's right. Your 12 but, is 20. But anyway, and then that can go both ways. Facts. Because you can have... Um, a line that they're saying is a 10 pound is if it's a point eight, you don't you may not want to use that right you may want to move up to a 12 pound right brand. right so in this i've never i think I, I don't think i've ever used it but uh i don't know jacob's reeled in a bunch of bass with it <laughs> i gotta give it at least a 7.5 facts yeah. i mean got to mine <laughs> hey, my man didn't reel to me i mean that's up. all i can say hey what else can you say there bro? it is all what's right. next let's kick it let's keep it rolling where we uh let's see Berkeley, 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 Berkeley. 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 Berkeley.
Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Trial Lane nine out of ten. Hey, All shout out to the people that say it's a bad school when you just tied a bad knot. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> hey, shout out to hey, you. Your shout out to you. <laughs> hey, you ain't retied in 19 fish, you know, hung up on seven logs, and you hooked that six pounder. We're the about a two and three quarter. <laughs> Man, it's six pounder. That Broke it off. That and I was like, this. Listen, up. it Bang. wasn't your knot or the fact that you snagged him 19 times on a barbed wire fence. <laughs> 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 hey, what a barbed wire fence doing in the water? I don't know. I ran into one at Okeechobee. Down hey, there. I seen you down there too, North and North Coast. There's a, there's a barbed wire fence down there. You shaved off my troll motor. Break your troll motor off. Oh, will. Anyway, all right, right. So sure. Hey, you didn't broke all the line, Jake. Yeah, I, 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 no I, I'm line. doing a test for myself. God, Sorry, y'all. I mean, over here in my own world, God, as of the last bit. We didn't broke all the line. We got in the talk. I about. broke all the line to determine my own opinion on this line, and I, I, so that's what I'm just trying to learn. All right. Um, I'm always trying to learn. That's a part of you know trying to be a good fisher. You try to always oh, try to right. continue to learn. Ain't no doubt. And uh, so trialing, I have used trialing in the past. It's a, it's a heavier line diameter wise, but it is a really good line. It's supple. Um, it, it does manage. It, it actually. Last a fairly long time oh, yeah. for for the actual line it is and like the, the it does does a really good job on that. Um, Some of them softer lines you you like you can it, burn them like you can burn them way split. more. You can, oh, you, can, wow. you sort of feel yeah. that too. Mm -hmm. You can burn them. So Absolutely. this line right here feels strong. It, it is it is a strong line. They did, they they've done a great job on the trial lane side of things. I'm gonna give them an eight, eight out of ten. I just think that they're a good company. I think they have some really good, good fluorocarbon, mm -hmm. um, and and they haven't changed their fluorocarbon for whatever ten years, right? Long time. So it's been the same fluorocarbon. So that gives you a good indication that it's obviously doing well, and uh, they sold plenty of it. So good company, good line, eight out of ten. Yeah, yeah. I gotta kind of piggyback on J Dub. Uh, I've used this line as well. Um, Man, and I got nothing but good things to say about this right here. I'll be honest with you. I feel like the abrasion resistance was great. Uh, the castability was good. The only thing, again, that jumps out to me is, and this is what most people don't pay attention to, your everyday consumer. You guys never look at the little fine print down at the bottom that talks about the diameter. Adrian spoke about that. His six might be Seagars 12. Mm -hmm. J-Dubs, you know, suffix might 10, might be art, you know, 12 or whatever, right? It's that diameter is what's critical. It and is. so Berkeley tends to have a little bit of a heavier diameter. Mm -hmm. um, but with that said, you, you adjust which diameter line you pick for that application. So I think it's a solid line. Like Jacob said, man, it's a solid company. Everybody knows Berkeley. Uh, easy to get a hold of, you know, and, and the price point's good as well. So Berkeley 100% floor apartment, I, you know, I got to give you guys, yeah, eight, man. Eight out of ten. Eight. Eight out of ten. Eight. I'm gonna second mark again. I've actually used this line. It's a really good line. Mm -hmm. I used it. Uh, I was in that. So you gotta understand all these. Uh, th me and fishing line, and I guess every fisherman out there, you always learn off of experiences. And <laughs> well, like perfect example, this week we're at St. Clair. I don't know if line size matters on these smallmouth, right? But we're sitting here testing out, like, man, maybe I got some eight pounds spooled up just in case. Yeah, that's true. So, 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 like, experiment for you guys at home. Experiment with your line size. There's certain techniques where that's going to get you some more bites. This yes. is also about that too. We <laughs> use the lightest line as we can get away with. Okay, and uh, we use the heaviest line we can get away with. <laughs> No, I use, I'm talking smallmouth fish. Still, I feel like we use the heaviest line we can get away with. Well, I guess that is true. <laughs> I use the lightest line. The heaviest like, line that you can get away I think, with. I think, ultimately, I think that's what you meant, though. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. So, like, I, I, I don't want to. But that's, that's, what, what, you mean. that's <laughs> what you meant. Yeah, you did the heaviest line. Like, just, like, just like paper, rock, scissors. It, right. Yeah, oh, man, it's rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, it's rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, you got it. I say paper, rock, scissors. Boy, that's not it. That's not a hey, comment below, y'all. Y'all didn't hear us talk about this before. Paper, rock, it's paper, rock, paper, scissors. Somebody, background, tell me. Paper, rock, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I seriously I never heard it. I never in my rock, life heard somebody paper. call it paper, rock, right, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. I've always heard about that. All right, paper, rock, scissors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what's rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, When you play the game, what do you do? Rock, rock 
paper, oh. scissors, oh. shoot. Paper, rock, scissors. Yeah, you, you hit it three times and then shoot. You go, Why paper, do I call rock, it paper, rock, scissors? Because that's where you grew up. I, I, I don't even I know. I bet if I call my brother right now, he said You got drop. I got a job. I heard him tell us that last time. He did say that. He said paper, rock, scissors. I said, what is it? Rock, paper, scissors? He said, no, it's paper, rock, scissors. Anyway, we're on a tangent. Hey, I've used Trilane before. Phenomenal line. Great company. I'm going to give him an 8. Three, nice. three, seven. Three, three, seven. Eight point three, three, seven. He almost eight point four. No, he's not. He's yeah, I ran him up. Three, three. Nah, three, three. He's low. He's eight, a low three, 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 five, seven. Eight, three. That's so a, the seven's gonna round up to five, and then five, so eight point four. four. Mm. All right, y'all doing too much for my brain. Anyway, right all right, that's it. Dollars. All right, all right. So, all right. so, so, so yeah. that's me, mm -hmm. and. Uh, that's it, bro. Probably. All right, we got we got one more to do. Yeah, it is. So look, y'all don't y'all don't go in too tough. There's a couple it that is, I, that I want to mention really quick that we did because we can't talk about them all. Is this one? Sunline super popular. That's is one we did one? not get a hold Shut of up. to talk about. And then the other one that I think people uh, yeah, use a lot of is this Gamma. One? Gamma's another company. So those are two companies Gamma, we forgot yeah. to talk about. But let's kick it off this last Sunline, one. Sunline, yeah, Sunline's you, one company. Yeah. Sun, I said Sunline, uh, Sunline and Gamma. Gosh, dang. But I also don't know the diameter. So we're sorry, we're doing tests in this video. Really behind right the right. scenes. Hey, since you holding that, kick that off. Yeah, kick it off. P-line. P-line. Well, I about just cut my fingers off trying to break it. So, so this is 10 <laughs> pounds. It's 0 0.30. It's got to be pretty good. It's 0 0.30. What is it? 0 0.29. There's no way. That's, that's, that's thicker. That's a misprint. That's a misprint. That's, that's a misprint, that's that's mis bro. Oh, this is way thicker. Yeah, this is, this is thinner. Yes, this is like rope. No, this is this thicker. No. Yeah, that's this <laughs> thick. It does. It says this thick. Hey, all right. So I'm going to get all these guys in the movie. Dumber, hey, dumber. Oh. Dumber. <laughs> dumber, dumber. Dude, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I did not <laughs> know P-Line needed to get after it. What? So the so yeah. only thing I remember, like, P-Line is like floor clear back in the day. Yeah, like like that gold is cold. I love Floor clear. Let me throw somebody on the bus. with that, with that. In this video. What? That was a Ponzi scheme. Yeah, it was. It was a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> yeah. floor I girl. love y'all, P line. Oh yeah, it was not floor carbon. That was a Ponzi scheme. But look, but they floor but look. Hey, to P line's it was defense, floor carbon coated, coated. mono. They ain't lie though. It say if you read the box, it says that they get you with the floor row and you. Hey, man, that's you the great price price point hey, floor hey, carbon. Yeah, yeah. like no. Hey, look, you get it, it man. But they got you already. Oh, I got that floor carbon. Coated mom. <laughs> hey, was you using floor? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I mean, no, 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 it's coat. Hey, Mark. Mark, is, so, so is that test legit? Like you put a knot in your Man, line? Man, look, my dad taught me this. Jacob, y'all see that? Why that's that's why they've been breaking. I don't know. My dad it's taught me that. Brazier, it's, boy. It's, it's more so than brazier. And, and he told thing. me, he said, if you want to just quickly check some line to see if it's any good, any good, you tie one single overhand knot in it. Okay, cinch it down, not super tight, but pull it down, and you grab both ends really hard, and you pull. And if it breaks easily, Do that with this obviously, line. then it ain't no good. It, so it's not necessarily that. So that's what it is. Testing is abrasion resistant. So if you're yeah, around, I like, oh, oh, you that. So you look, you cinch it down like this, yeah. Yeah. not super hard, right? But then you get him tight as you can on your hands. No, just do like one rat. Oh, that's <clears> unbelievable. God. That's strong, bro. That's Let's strong. That's anyway, right. so meanwhile, right. who wants me to kick this off? Go kick it off. Yeah. Somebody need to kick uh, it off. I'm gonna kick it off. <laughs> P Line. Shout out to P Line. I think this is kind of an old school company. It uh, is. Very much Robert, just, my brother's father-in-law, used to use P Line. He used Mono all the time. Now keep in mind, this was back in a blue strand, 17 pound blue strand. Yeah, that's clear blue. blue. You know what I mean? Back in the days, so he yeah. used to use that, and I used some of the uh, Mono. I've never used the fluorocarbon, but it is quality inspected, right there. You see it? it? Yeah. And apparently it's pretty dang good. So I'm gonna <laughs> give it a 6.7. Okay. Just cause I ain't used it. Yeah. Yep. And they pull, tried to pull that little quick one on that <laughs> bag on fluorocarbon coat. I ain't got pissed about it. <laughs> 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 I don't have pissed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I was like is. 16 thinking I was like the man with fluorocarbon, big dog. That's just a Cody. You just hey, you try to hook on a dick. Hey, that's like a stretch hey, of hair. Hey, hey, like hey, like, hey, there's a reason why DC set the hook so hard because he started freaking like throwing a jig and watching a jig on a clear fair. Oh my god. You gotta be like, 
All right, yeah. let me go ahead and rate him real quick. Hey, first of all, I'm gonna tell y'all a few things y'all know about your boy. Shout out, shout out, Peline, man, um, and my and my folks back there in, in Brisbane, California. So this is a Bay Area based company, man. Really? Right next to San Francisco, I'm talking about across the street, next to San Francisco, is a town called Brisbane, and that's where Peline is based out of. And uh, I got a lot of history with Peline. Uh, I, I used it a lot growing up. Started with the monofilament. There, they, they what's blew. the B stand for? Uh, the, the company, the family that owns it, Pucci. Pucci. Italian company. Pucci line. Pucci is the family's name. So, Pucci. Wow, this is a good This is cool. Yeah. I swear yeah. that is it's cool. Good people, too, man. Uh, yeah. I used to have a small sponsorship deal with P line way back in the day, so I, I used this line all the time because I you know, I had, I thought I had like three or $400 worth of line. Yeah. It was super broke, so we was fishing the paint off this there line. You, you know what I'm saying? But, <clears throat> P line, everyone noted them for their monofilament. CXX back in the day mm -hmm. was the truth. And when it came to mono, and so naturally, when they came out with fluorocarbon, it was an easy transition to try it. Like, oh, I've been using peel, I'm, I'm gonna try this. So, their line is really good line, man. I cannot say anything bad about peel line. Um, and oh, well, the only only thing I'm gonna knock them on. This is one thing I'm gonna knock them on. Peel line is another company that ups their diameters. So their six might be like cigars ten. And then you'll hear guys like, man, I got, I'm using the strongest six pound test there is here. Try to break this. And then you look at the diameter, and it's like, whoa, it's like three points thicker than mine. Yeah. So naturally, I, I wonder how they grade that. Yeah, like, because so like this line right so, here, I think you can put any thing on there you want, as far as the pound test, not the diameter. You uh -huh. can put well, any the pound diameter test on. says it's thicker than this line, and this line's thinner than that line. Well, well that's ten, yeah, that's twelve. Well, yeah, but this is twelve. It says it says this line says it's thinner than that line. I think I, I think I think that's a misprint on there, honestly. I really do. I mean, it's a, okay. Looking at that. Cause look, 0 0.029 is like 2022. 20, so this is zero. This is 0, Oh no, it's point zero three zero. Yeah. Yes, so, it, so this says this is a lot thinner yeah. than this line. All right. So I'm saying twenty pound. Yeah. It does. If it's X. So it'd be thinner. I'm just interested. Like I don't think it's a point zero one six. Look, this is point two nine. So this is that, ten. That, this that, is point zero one one. No, that can't be right. No, that's millimeters. So feel, Mark. feel that. No, feel this line. Nine. Oh, See, this oh millimeters. I'm sorry. Four o as a bigger four diameter. Zero, four zero. So if you do, oh, okay. feel him. All right. They feel got him in millimeter. Hang on a minute. Damn, that feels thicker. That one does. This, yeah, it, it's up just thicker line. All right. It's zero point one one. What's the millimeter on this? Zero point two one two. The millimeter. Point three oh, oh point millimeter. Three, yeah. This is uh point two nine. 2.28.28. Okay. Anyway, we're getting a little technical. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Sorry we, we, we stay doing that. All right, look. So, P-Line. So, P -line. it's a great P-Line. I got to rate them. I, I, I got a lot of love for P-Line. I got a lot of history with them. Good company. Good people over there, too, man. Uh, I got to give them an eight, bro. P-Line's P -line's a good eight. line. Eight. Solid. It, it really is. P-Line, I've actually used the four clear back in the day. I'm you used what? Four clear back in the day I did. <laughs> you had that coat on. Man, I was 14. <laughs> I was 14. Hey, I was hey, 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 Yo, Zuri had that same stuff. They the had four that coat clear, on. I was like, no, man, I'm gonna, hey, I used to throw top waters, little poppers and stuff. Boom, I was like, I was hey, did, you, did you break any off? No, did not. But anyway, so hey, P-Line's hey. actually a really good line. I, I've used it. I've not used it for probably 15 years. Right. Straight up, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like I've used it. Like I think Scott uses P line. Yeah, you do. So I've used a couple of his rods when I was his best. Thrifty uses P line. Thrifty uses P line too. Uses it too. So, yeah. Um, thicker diameter. Realistically, every company is thicker in diameter than Seaguar. Yes. So that's just going but, but out. Why is that? Do you know why? I don't, I don't know. know. Think about it for one second. <clears throat> is it because of the? It's Japanese. Uh huh. So we know how the Japanese are in the fishing. Well, in anything. Super duper technical. Yeah. So they will not, and they're all about honor. And, I, and, and I don't think they'll overrate. I don't think they'll overrate their stuff. So like, they I think not. their ten is going to break at ten. Yes, it's legit. Yeah. And and you better play it like that if you use a cigar, yep. with the exception of, I don't cap, Red Label. Red Label is their one line that is a little thicker in diameter. And it's strong. It's strong as an ox. But that, oh but that's, that's fa and that's fair though. And that's their lower price point. So that's sort of like more so, yeah. That's more cool. Yeah. So, so with that being said, P-Line, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys straight up, I think it's a 7.5 out of 10. Okay. I think they're a great line. Solid. I'm, I'm, I have nothing bad to say about P-Line. Yeah, I mean, same, same thing with me. I mean, it feels, it feels pretty soft. Yeah, it it's oh, definitely. The only thing I will say about it is not how like, it was not precision winded. So like, it doesn't have like, this is like all, Level one. Level one. Yep. This is like G. It's all like, oh, everybody calls the same thing. Precision winding here. Yeah. 
I don't know what it, cigars bigger spools. They don't do that though. They used to level I, one, and then I think they stopped. It's yeah, weird. that one's not. not. This one no. is. But that one is. That that's 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 I think that's an older spool. That one's level one. That's that's. I love it's so pretty. Yeah. So like, I mean, I, that's the only way I'm gonna give them a little bit of. Do you think that matters? I don't. I don't know, but I think it looks nicer. Oh, it definitely looks. I nicer. mean, I, you would think it, it can't hurt. No, I definitely. You think it would? You would? It wouldn't hurt anything. No. So that's what I'm just saying. That's the only thing I can say. You noticed that. that. Yeah, that's the yeah, only thing yeah. I noticed. Yeah, what, exactly. I, what I like about that is, remember I was talking about I got a little rash on my spool? Yeah. So, like, you, you know. You know your what, whole rotation. What, what rotation, just go through. what part of that spool is no good. Or, yeah. or you go through there and you just go. Yeah, because, yeah, like, down yeah, that, that, that little part. You just put a little plastic shell on the outside and you good. That dude. Well, that's right, man. That's freaking nifty, bro. That is. It is. Or, or it comes in a, in, a, in a dang cardboard box. No, you guys have the, don't they shrink it with the plastic? No. I could have sworn it. Cardboard box. It's what not, you gonna write it, Major? Yeah. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write him. I mean, shoot, dang, thrifty man, he reels them in too. Facts. So I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it eight out of ten. I don't know nothing about. It. Never used it. No, I only used her mono. Okay. All right. Uh, yep. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, y'all. That's it, man. Did you see it right there? You write that? Yeah. Did you see it right there? What'd you get? Seven. I gave him a 6.8. Oh, you did? You did. 6.8. Yeah, 6.8. Okay. Yeah, 6.8. I got to give him a seven. He's, he's about seven. Yeah, he's about seven. So yeah. here, I, here's my last disclaimer before we close out. I think all these fishing lines are phenomenal. Yeah. The fishing lines came a long way. Very seldom do you see any of these pros, or, and I know you guys watching, y'all don't break off all the time. The, the days no. of breaking off on hook sets big time, I think they're they're pretty much done. As long as you tie good enough. If you tie well, good enough. And re-tie. Let's talk about yeah, that. That's a really good point, too. That is so, so yeah. it's critical. So, so good 15 but, bucks but on the diving into like what we like as far as fishing lines, it's all personal preference. None of these lines are, are better as far as quality than the other one. It's just personal preference, but nice. there is little bitty differences in all of them. There are. Yeah, so, and it, yeah uh, it's just what you like, man. That's right. That, that's fishing at, at blanket statement. It don't matter what rods you use, reels, line, hooks, weights. It's what you like, man. Is it working? Are you catching them? Keep using it. Who cares? Yeah, mm -hmm. Straight up, man. So that's right to bait, man. We, we dove into, went off a little deep in on some fishing line today. So uh, we'll Sorry, be back with another one at the next derp. Uh, Y'all drop some comments for 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 your boy man and uh y'all know y'all know the story follow my guys man check them out and uh let us know what y'all want to see next we out see ya